Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a great day. Hey, and on some real stuff, but like not even with these videos or anything like that, like honestly, like, something's been on my heart. Like I wanna let you guys know that you guys are all loved and appreciated. So I wanna let you guys know that like, not any on some like hype video, like I, I genuinely want you to know that you are loved and appreciated. That was just something that was on my heart. All right, but to get back into this video, Georgia, I know your pain, that's why I waited a day to do this. I wanted to give you guys at least one day so that you guys can kind of get your get your team back together, get your get your hopes back up because let me let me tell you, you guys have an amazing recruiting class coming in next year. Actually, you have the best recruiting class coming in next year. You pulled in six five-star recruits. Six of them. I can even put all of your five-star recruits in this one video. That's how good your recruiting class is this year. But with that being said, today we're going to be looking at the University of Georgia's top five recruits for the 2017-2018 year. So yes, it was a tough loss to lose in the national championship, but I think that this wave of freshmen that you guys are bringing in are going to help you guys eventually get back to the national championship and hopefully win it. Your top five recruits are a great mix of offensive and defensive players. But I don't want to say too much more. I want to show you guys what the future University of Georgia football is going to be looking like. So let's just get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so I'm not even going to mention the fact of whether or not these guys are five star or not because they're all five star. But to start off this list, we're going to be starting off with the number one dual threat quarterback in the country, Justin Fields. Let's go. You know, uh, this, I've already done a video on this guy and this dude's just raw, but I have not seen the senior highlights. So this is going to be fun because this is the first time I've seen the senior highlights. Way to stay in there. That DN should have just ran after him because he had a free shot on him, but Brett. Throwing that ball deep. All right, get out of there. Ooh. Ooh, that was smooth. And then he's going to dip up on him. Ooh, give me the Mickles, boy. Give me the Mickles. He. Okay, was that me or did it look like he was not even trying? It looked like he was just jogging. Go deep on him. He has an effortless throwing motion. Like it his throwing motion just looks effortless. Get off of me, little boy. And we dipping off on him. Yeah, no. Just Justin Fields is nice. Like, he is nice. I mean, there's a reason why he's in I mean he won the elite 11 so technically if you want to go off of that he's the number one quarterback in the country but uh i believe 24 7 sports has uh trevor lawrence just slightly ahead of him i mean it, it, it's whoever you want i mean they're both amazing quarterbacks justin Fields just gives you a little bit more running potential and he is able to find the end zone like that is just ridiculous that you could be that close to the sideline and no one pushes you out. Dimes, let's go. He has a very unorthodox, like, just being in the pocket. He is just very unorthodox. I'm pretty sure at Georgia, they're gonna try and fix that. 18, you just gave up on the play, bro. You just gave up on the play, man. D does anyone want to tackle him? Gave it to him on the back shoulder. Ooh, got him. But you guys got to remember, Jake Fromm is there right now. And he's he's a true freshman. So, hey, there's going to be some quarterback competition down there at Georgia. That's, that's just easy. So on top of pulling the number one quarterback in the country, Georgia also went and pulled the number one running back in the country. But I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you guys saw the backfield that they had this year, but Sonny Michelle and uh, Nick Chubb, they're both going to be leaving. So they need to bring in some new people. They already got DeAndre Soup there. So maybe Zamir White is out. Is that second option? You never know. But we got five-star running back, Zamir White. Let's go. You know, th th uh, this dude is a monster. Just, just plain and simple.
Let's go. Get off me. That's just too easy. And man, when he gets going, he really gets some legs turning and he's gone. I like his play because he just he just run aggressive. Like he, he just he just look like he wanna hurt, like just run over you when every time he run. Again, Georgia, I, I'm I'm disappointed too. If I didn't win the national title, I'm disappointed. But you guys killed it when it comes to recruiting. Like absolutely like no one's even close to you guys in recruiting. Just he just ran through them and split that and he still finds the end zone. Like let's go. Runs over him. That's light. Georgia, Georgia, you guys just like having ten, two, two powerhouses in the backfield. So, I mean, DeAndre Swift and Zamir White next year, they that could be a good compliment for real. Yeah, no, this, this dude is cold, like for real. Get off of me. It, it, it's just too easy. Like, it, it really is. Nope. Like, bruh, and he's still not going down. He like, let's go. Running him over, running him over. It's like, you don't want that. And that's just easy into the end zone. So you guys get to see a trend that Georgia likes to go for the best player at their position. So, so far they have the number one quarterback in the class 2018, the number one running back in the class 2018, and then to protect those guys as well as Jake Fromm, they also went and picked up the number one guard in the class of 2018, Jamari Saylor. Let's go, man. Like, you just pull in the best player at every position. Like, that's just crazy. Let's go big number 69. Sit down, little boy. <laughs> he just pushed him down with one arm. Nope, just sit down. Just got stuffed. <laughs> Dude spun right back into him. He's just like, just get out of my way. Bruh. Oh, let's see him on the defense side of the ball. Oh, he just, he just manhandled him. And puts that paw, puts that paw up, get that ball knocked out. Let's go. <laughs> Bruh, he has his dude 10 yards downfield. <laughs> he's just locking that guy up. Like, I would hate to be that D-ender. I mean, I mean, he's playing guard and tackle, so I would hate to be that D-ender, that D-tackle. Like, bruh. Once he gets, once he gets some hands on you, you, you you're done. <laughs> I wish every high school could get this camera view. That that's the best camera view, just period. Wow, he he just got through all that. You know, <laughs> this, this dude is going to help Georgia so much in both the pass and the run game. Nope, just get out the way. 
So Georgia thought they would be nice and they would let the number one tackle go to another school. But they, they weren't too nice. And they still ended up pulling the number two offensive tackle in the nation in Cade Mays. Like, their line's just going to be set. Like, going to the second level? Get out the way. <laughs> Get out the way. Guys, all these other SEC teams, they're catching up. They're, Alabama used to just dominate in the South. Every, if you were the best player in the South, you just went to Alabama. Now, Georgia, Ohio State, Clemson, these teams are starting to come through and starting to pull these top guys. And, I mean, obviously Alabama, as long as Nick Sape. <laughs> he just straight up punched that dude. But, I mean, as long as Alabama has Nick Saban, they're always going to be dominant. But with these recruiting classes, Georgia, you guys are making a strong case for next year's championship. And I mean, a very strong one. Nope, nope, nope. Sit down. <laughs> Just sit down. Oh, wow. I would be so scared if I saw <laughs> big old K, man. This thing's just like 6'6", six, six, like 3 something in the threes like that's just crazy <laughs> like come on nope like where you just see bodies falling on the ground that's normally where kid maze is like <laughs> just He's just moving people at this point. <laughs> I wouldn't even mess with them. I'd be like, hey, I'm just gonna run the other way. I'm just gonna run away from you. He is just manhandling people. All right, so before we get into the last of the top five recruits that Georgia pulled in, let's do a quick recap. Georgia's got the number one quarterback in the class of 2018, the number one running back, the number one guard, the number two tackle, and then they went and picked up the number one outside linebacker. That's right, four of Georgia's top five recruits, which mind you, they're all five stars, are the number one at their position. That's ridiculous, but let's get into Adam Anderson's highlight, the number one outside linebacker in the class of 2018. Let's go. Oh, that was so smart. Pulled him in and just punched it. Oh, that was so clean. Pulled him in and then punched it out. Yeah, I I'll be, I'll be wild and that play was tight. <laughs> Run him over, bruh. There's, there's just certain, oh, he's playing against Justin Fields. Hey, he got one on his teammate. <laughs> oh yeah, he's playing. He's playing Justin Fields' teams right now. Got to him. See, even the best, even the best quarterback in the nation can't even get away from him. Nope. Ran over him. This dude is supposed to be more of a finesse guy, but he's just running through the guy trying to block him. <laughs> George, you guys are about to be dumb stacked next year. Like, what is, look at that get off. Oh my, George, come on. Y'all are about to be dumb stacked next year. Nope. <laughs> Force it a fumble. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Quarterback can't go nowhere. 
just wrapped all that up. All right, so like I said, I know it hurts to lose in the national title game, but when you're pulling in this recruiting class, I would be more than hopeful to return next year. Four out of your top five recruits are the best at their position. Like, did you guys hear what I'm saying? And there was another five-star player that I couldn't even do just because I restricted it to the top five. You pulled in six five-star recruits. George, you guys are scheming up to be a dominant force for a while. If I'm a Georgia fan, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm turning up. All right, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to like 400 likes? Because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other plays that you guys want me to see. And also, UGA fans, let me know who out of this top five you think is going to be the best at your team. Obviously, Justin Fields and Zamir White and all those players, they're going to do their thing. But I think Adam Anderson, that dude, that dude has a talent to getting to the quarterback. So, hey, I, I think that that dude's going to ball out the soonest but comment down below who you guys think is going to do the best out of those five and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that i am coming out with yeah all right but with that being said hope that you guys all have a great rest of your day and i will catch you guys in the next video yeah